Welcome back. You're watching Overdrive and it's time now for us to take your queries on Auto Selector. Sirius joins us as always and I'm minus my BlackBerry and that's because BlackBerry services have been disrupted across the world. So let's go straight to our first question. This one comes into us from Chennai. P. Gupta writes and saying he wants to buy himself an entry-level diesel sedan. He's got a budget of between 7.5 to 8 lakh rupees. It will be primarily used over the bad roads of Chennai suburbs so ground clearance should be decent and it should have a robust suspension. His day commute is about 35 to 40 kilometers he wants a car with good mileage good boot space and good resale value after five years he shortlisted a bunch of cars Sirish the Ford Fiesta Classic the Maruti Desire the Toyota ETS the Sunny and the Skoda Rapid what would you suggest well, see, the Swift Desire is going to be phased out and there'll be an all-new Desire that'll be launched in January at the Auto Expo. It'll be based on the new Swift. So if you're looking at a car that'll get you good resale value in five years, I wouldn't recommend the current Swift Desire because it's going to be phased out. Among the other cars, definitely I would recommend the Etios. It's got good space inside, it's got a huge boot, it's uh, rugged, it's got good quality. The engine is not so great on performance, but it's adequate for highways. It's got good bottom end uh, grunt, it's got good torque, and it compensates by being very fuel efficient. It's also refined. So overall, the fit finish, the build, and even all Toyotas, they hold the value very well. So it'll get you good uh, money after you sell it in five years' time. So on everything considered, the Etios makes the most sense for you. Also, among the other cars, the Nissan Sunny is still too new. Its uh, Nissan sales network is not strong enough. The engine is, of course, very refined. It's quite adequate on performance. But right now, the Sunny, and you don't know how well Nissan will hold the value after five years. So that's a big question mark. And as for the Skoda Rapid, it's going to be launched now. But whether it'll fall in your budget, well, we don't know. Unless the prices are announced, we will not know. So as of now, the Etios diesel makes the most sense for you. All right, our next question is about an SUV that's making the headlines. This one comes into us from Virat Jhala. He's looking to buy an SUV or an MUV. He thinks the Innova is good, comfortable. But now that M&M has launched the XUV500, which one would you recommend for a year around travel? His priorities are comfort and space. Are there any other suggestions? He did consider the Tata Aria, but feels the third row is too cramped for long drives. What would you advise, Sirish? Well, if you think the Arya's third row is cramped, then the same uh, thing is holds true for the XUV 500. The third row is adequate for short journeys, uh, but not for long distances. The third row doesn't have as much space as the Innova. So if you're looking for something that's got a lot of space in all three rows, Innova is still the best. But otherwise, if you're looking for just a comfortable vehicle, you're going to be use only, using only the front row or the middle row, then the XUV actually makes a lot of sense. It looks very nice. It's loaded with features, great value for money. Ride and handling is also good. The engine refinement and performance is good. In fact, the performance is better than the Innova. So on the other uh, side of things, the XUV 500 makes a lot of sense. But if third row is a priority, then stick with the Innova. Okay, our next question comes into us from Rahul Bajaj. And no, it's not the industry veteran. Rahul wants to know that he wants to buy himself his first car, he shortlisted the Maruti Alto and the Chevy Spark. He's looking for a car that will give him good mileage within the city, but he also wants very, very low maintenance after sales. He has heard about Hyundai's new Eon as well. Should he wait for that or should he go with the two options that he's already shortlisted? No, definitely wait for the Eon. We've driven it. It's got more space than the Alto. The engine is slightly more powerful than the Alto. It's on par in terms of fuel efficiency, but it looks radically different. It looks fresh. It looks young. It looks very different from the other cars on the road. Some would say it's overstyled, but otherwise it's a very different looking car and it takes the game on in terms of that small car segment, the entry level small car segment. Well, that wraps up Auto Selector for this week, but as always, do send us your queries to helpdesk at overdrive.co.in. We will get them answered right here on the show.